Okay, so here I'm going with my pumpkin pie thing. I am copying um, this recipe from um, Christy from OK Keto. Mixing up one egg. I got my dash going. It's already hot. I haven't sprayed it yet. You can spray it. You don't have to spray it. I've had pretty good luck with not spraying it too. Um, but I will the first time just give it a little shot. Um, and well, I'm going to have to pause this for a second. So Christy adds in half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. I don't have that. And then she did an eighth of a cup of um, pumpkin. Uh, puree. So that's what I did. Now she adds in um, some powdered swerve in hers. I am not adding that to mine because I'm going to add the chocolate chips. And I don't want it to be too sugary. Uh, mostly because of my carbs. Because the pumpkin does have some carbs in it. But also just because um, I want to save carbs for some other stuff. I don't want to use it up on Lots of sugar, although I might regret this. I may wish I had this. So, just a second. You put a little bit of uh, mozzarella cheese in your thing. At least I think that's how Chrissy does it. I didn't watch all the way through her video a second time. But this is how she makes all of her other topples. So, I'm just going to go with it. And then I'm going to pour half of this mixture in. Maybe a smidge more. And then here we go with the chocolate chips. I'm going to go with the Lilies. The Walmart ones are good too. And uh, that was probably about a half of a tablespoon is my guess. Yeah, Lilies. Esther's trying to help me out. Okay. And then a little bit more cheese on top. This is what gives it its crispiness. The cheese. So, anyway, here we go. Let's see what happens. And I'm going to finish watching Christy's video to make sure I didn't forget a uh, um, step. I'm just checking on him. Oh, he's not even ready for me to check. But I wish you could smell this. It smells incredible, like fall. It's amazing. Okay, so here, this is what it looks like, and it smells just like those cookies. I'm not even kidding. It smells so good. I kind of wish I'd put a couple more chocolate chips in there. I might go ahead and add some sweetener to this second batch just to see. Okay, so I have this. I do not like stevia. I think it's disgusting, but I'm going to use a tiny, 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 tiny bit of that. Go ahead and added, you can just kind of see that little sprinkling of this stevia, powdered stevia. This looks and smells amazing. Um, I think it... I don't want to burn the chocolate chips, but I think it needs another minute. The top, bottom looks good. I'm going to give it just another minute. I am so hungry for Marhite. Okay, let me give this a shot. Let me see how it looks. That looks just about perfect. I'm going to copy Christy and put this guy on a cooling rack. Just so it can stay crispy. Can't really see the chocolate chips very well on that side because they're on the front, but... Doesn't it look good? I probably could have done more chocolate chips. So we'll do the the second one does have that little bit of powdered swerve, so not swerve, pure. Anyway, I think I'll put a couple more chocolate chips in this one as well, and then I'll know which way is better to make. Okay, the second part of the egg. A few more of these guys. This one kind of feels like it's going to be uh, flowing over. Hopefully it won't. A couple of sprinkles of cheese. And Henry, you want to put it down slowly? Very good. Yep, okay. We'll check back. So pretty. I'll check on the other one. Oh, he looks really nice. Like, perfect. Okay. I'm gonna try this now real quick while I'm waiting for the other one to come out. Um, I'm very, very anxious and I'm hungry.
I took too big of a bite. Okay. They're not the pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. But that's pretty good. Um I do I, I do think the one with the powdered um erythritol is gonna taste better. Um just because they're not very sweet, but they do have definitely have that fall taste. The pumpkin and then I love pumpkin and chocolate chips together. They're just perfect. So yeah, that's pretty good. I'm curious to see how it compares to the other one. That's good. That's good. So I think we'll, this guy looks like he's ready. I'm going to take it out. So in a half of a cup of pumpkin puree, I, if I remember right, it was 10 carbs. Let's check that out. Yes. Half of a cup. 10 carbs. There are three fibers, so we'll go ahead and do net carbs, so that's seven. And we did an eighth of a cup, so it's like, I don't know, one and a half-ish carbs, to two. I might round up to two just to be on the safe side for myself for these two truffles. That looks super good. Whoops. I'm going to give it a minute to cool, and then I'll try it. So I went ahead and threw a couple more chocolate chips on the top. I think it looks nice for the picture, and then also I just thought it would help with the flavor. But I'm i am I'm going to try this one now and see if it is better with a little bit of um, erythritol inside. Oh, I guess I'm already videoing. <laughs> Unprofessional. That's me. That definitely is better, both with the extra chocolate chips and then the little bit of um, pure powdered sugar. Um, that is very good. I like that. So when people are throwing up a bunch of pumpkin pie or whatever, pumpkin desserts on Facebook and Instagram in the fall, this is a keto version that you can feel good about. Um, it shouldn't be too bad carb-wise. I haven't figured it out for myself yet. Um, but it tastes very, very good, especially with those extra chocolate chips. So I'm going to enjoy this. I'm also going to try a couple other truffle things in the really near future. Um, and I'll show you when I do. I'm also going to try and make my own jam with erythritol. So 